Good morning. A mantra from the Devi Mahatmyam, which literally means the greatness, the glory of the Devi. And Devi is translated as goddess, but what does that mean? It comes from the root, which means to shine. So she is the pure light, pure energy. Energy comes in all combinations and shapes and forms. Pure energy, pure light, cosmic in nature, that is Devi. So she is personified as the mother of the universe, as the protector of the good people, and she kills demons, demonic forces, forces of darkness, ignorance, etc., etc. So... There are many beautiful mantras, hymns of praise in this text after she killed very powerful demons. All the gods decide to, to go to her and praise her and thank her and ask for future protection. This is one of those verses of the fourth chapter. Om Durge Smrita Harasi Bhiti Masheshe Janto Durge Smrita Harasi Bhiti Masheshe Janto Swasthai Smrita Mati Mati Vashubham Dadasi Swasthai smrta mati mati vashubham dadasi Dari dhriya dukh bhaya hari nikat varanya Dari dhriya dukh bhaya hari nikat varanya Sarvo pekar karanaya sadar drachit Sarvo pekar karanaya sadar chitta. I will show again. Durge smrita harasi bhiti masheshe janto. Durge smrita harasi bhiti masheshe janto. Swasthai smrita mati mati va shubham dadasi. Swasthai smrita mati mati va shubham dadasi. Dari dhriya dukh vaya hari nikat varanya. Dari dhriya dukh. Vaya hari nikat varanya Sarvo pekar karanaya sadar trachitta Sarvo pekar karanaya sadar trachitta So you can see the verses, the verse is a little longer than many that we do. You can count the syllables. Durge smrita harasi bhitim ashesha jantoho. Fourteen syllables in each line and the exact same pattern of rhythm in each line also. Durge. It has a couple of meanings here. You can choose which one you like. It is calling the name of the mother, Durga, Durga, the one who kills all the demons, on the lion, the goddess on the lion, Durge, O Durga. But I've mentioned before, the original meaning of Durga is like uh, a fortress. That's her name. No dark forces can enter. Also, it is any kind of Difficult situation, dur and ga, difficult to access, difficult to get through. So then it gets to mean any calamity, any impasse, any difficulty in life. In any calamity, that might be the preference here, but you can choose. Smrta, 
when you are remembered, smri is to remember, smrta, harasi. When anybody remembers you in difficult times, then you take away harasi, beat him, all the fear. Ashesha janto, of all beings, all people, without exception. You take away their fear. You remember the powerful force that has Remembering means it has happened in life before. You have had trouble and you prayed to some superior divine force and you got help. So remember that, that will take away your fear. Svasthai smrta. And on the other hand, other side, when you are remembered by anyone that's already happy and healthy, and independent swastha. Then you don't need healing, right? Well, <laughs> she knows what to do. You give tadasi matim ativa shubham on top of the good health you give. Ex, uh, very, ativa is very much, very bright intelligence. So to be healthy is not enough. Swastha means self dependent, independent, but wisdom is needed on top of that. So that's what you will give then. You cannot go wrong with turning to the higher forces. When in trouble, you take away the fear, and when somebody who is already healthy remembers you, you will give bright wisdom, shubha, Shubham matim on top of it. Taridriya dukha bhaya harini. Harasi and harini, they are related. Here it is uh, like an adjective or noun. You who take away. Again, bhaya is the same as bhiti. <laughs> There's so many ways to say something in Sanskrit. Up to you. You take away the fear of the suffering, dukkha, of daridriya, poverty. Poverty is very bad. You depend on others. You have no way to help yourself if you're really indigent and poor. So dukkha, that is a great pain. Daridriya, bhaya. And fear of that <laughs> is another pain. It's all connected. You take away the fear and the suffering of Poverty, that can be physical, mental, or spiritual poverty. When you don't have happy thoughts and good thoughts, that's poverty also. Sarva upakara karana, oh, no, katvadanya, no, next sentence starts. And who, other than you, who besides you, tvat is tvam, you, has a mind, chit mind and heart, sada ardra chitta. Sada is always, ardra is uh, very tender and em empathetic, <laughs> full of empathy, full of feelings and compassion for helping, karanaya, upakara karanaya, for offering help, upakara, assistance to one and all. Who other than you, who besides you has such a big heart and such a tender mind and feelings to offer, to give help to all that need it? So we are addressing the goddess, reminding her of her good heart. So we are in trouble, we need your help now. That is the whole idea behind the praise, <laughs> always. There's nothing wrong with that. You don't need anybody else's help when you have help of Cosmic Mother, who loves all by definition. She's the mother of all. There's much more, but I'm just trying to indicate there's more in here. Let's chant and get a feeling more. Om. Do you remember the melody? Let's try. Durge Smrita Harasi bhite mashesha janto. Swasthai smrita 
Mati mati va shubham dadasi Dari dri dukha bhaya hari nikat varanya Sarvo pekar karanaya sadar trachitta Again, that sounds so lovely. Durge smrita harasi bhite mashesh janto Svasthai smrita mati mati vashubham dadasi Daridri dukhe bhaya harini katvaranya Sarvo pekar karanaya sadar trachit once more a running translation when somebody remembers you when you're remembered at the time of calamity you take away the fear of all people of all beings without exception when you're remembered by those that are already happy and healthy, well-established, then you give, you bestow uh, intelligence that is exceedingly ativ, bright, very bright wisdom and intelligence. O oh, you who take away the fear of the pain of Poverty, physical, mental, spiritual. Who else is there besides you, Tvaranya, whose mind and heart is so full of empathy and compassion for all? So to give help to one and all, all beings. Even if you've been bad, then you start feeling better by praying to the force that is the force of light and intelligence and power and good overcoming dark forces sometimes people may think we do all these prayers for healing suppose I'm already fine I'm already healed well do you have cosmic intelligence yet <laughs> to see to know everything and just how to make a difference in this world, not just the intention, but the wisdom to go about it. This is a prayer for that. Mati mati shubham dadasi. So when you are sunk in poverty, there's nothing except first is survival, then you can do good, <laughs> then you can study and meditate. When you are not when you have nothing, nothing to eat, nothing to take shelter, then you need that first. Daridri dukkha bhaya. So there's fear of that. You take it away. How? Then we have to study the whole book. How she does it <laughs> and when does she do it? She meaning this is the praise of cosmic energy in the form of a goddess. Other times of the year, it's gods and supreme god, but there's no real division. They are one, so that is our understanding. And this is the time of turning to the goddess, Durga. So it can mean, O Durga, and it can mean in difficult times. One last chanting together. Om Durge Smrta Harasibhite Mashesh Janto Svasthai Smrta Mati Mati Vashubham Dadasi Daridriya Dukhe Bhaya Harini Katvaranya Sarvo pekar karanaya sadar drachitta. Sarvo pekar karanaya sadar drachitta. Om Shanti, thank you.